Your anger can be you asserting control over this grieving experience. Number one, I said that the anger can show up as a protection mechanism. It can show up as to protecting you from the grief, protecting you from other emotions that are in there. But it can also be you, you need the anger. It's possible that you may need the anger to assert control over the grief. You may need the anger to show up in order for you to push the other emotions out. The anger may be the only way that you can get through this grieving experience is to absolutely show up with this anger. Have the anger showing up in every aspect of your life. Maybe you need it to control what's going on. Maybe you need the anger to show up so you don't lose total control. Maybe the anger is comforting. Maybe the person you lost was very angry and so now you are angry. Maybe you're angry at the situation. Maybe your loved one died from COVID and you don't agree with the way they handled this, the COVID at the hospital. Maybe your loved one died in a car accident and you're really angry at the other person. Maybe your loved one died from a, a, at the hands of a drunk driver and the anger is showing up. However the anger is showing up for you, it is absolutely normal and okay. And the reason that I'm going on with the, ang the anger uh, TikToks is because sometimes people don't think it's okay to be angry or mad. They get shocked at the fact that so much anger has showed up. They get shocked at the fat amount of rage that shows up for them. The anger is serving a purpose. Do some much needed journaling, get a piece of paper and write the word angry right at the top, angry. And then just start writing everything that you're angry about. Just write it out so you can get to the bottom of it for yourself to find out why has this emotion of anger showed up for you? And what purpose is it here for? And what purpose is it serving?